Hi, this is Jim from Animal Ability and fitness contributor for Wild Warrior Nutrition. Today I'm going to do a full body workout, but we're going to emphasize the back. Okay, pulse pogo hops are first up. You're going to bounce medium force and then full force 10 times. So bounce, bounce is one. And next we're going to go into swamp lunges. You're going to circle your knee up and around and down until your back knee touches the turf or grass. As you can see, sometimes you get off balance. Now you can pick a distance or a number of strides you do on this. You can also do a palm thrust each time you step out, or you can just hold your hands in the guard position like I was at first which you can also carry a weight in. And here we go with sissy squats, just using the bars for balance. And I'm going knees to floor. If you can't, you can put a pad there or something, stack it up as high as you need and touch that and work your way to a full range of motion on these. I like to do five to 10, depending on what I've done before. Keep your butt tight, gut tight on these. Really trying to thrust the hips as you come up. And here we go with slider curls. Squeezing your glutes and trying to slide your heels under. Trying to keep your glutes high and it's hard. Usually about 10 of these is fine. Here we go with Arnold press done with an ISO contrast. So you press one up, hold it, press the other up, and you're holding one up as you're pressing the other. Anywhere from five to 10 total. Works pretty good on this. And butt tight, gut tight, of course. You gotta have that serious look on your face because this ain't no, ain't no joke. Now here we go with one of the best full back exercises, especially upper and mid. Your chest is completely supported, so you just get minimal low back work, but it is working it. But it's really hitting your mid back and a lot of upper back. Rowing it up to the bell touches the sides of the bench. You wanna make sure your chest is hanging over far enough that you're not bracing with your head or the bench is cutting into you or anything like that. And usually about 10 of those. Now here we go with a chest supported stiff arm pull down. I like to definitely do at least 10 of these. You can do anywhere from 10 to 15. You really feel these in your lats. Just keep your arms stiff and Try to pull it down, full range. Now I will superset these with the next exercise when I do it. This is all back stuff we're emphasizing. This is the back emphasis portion. And right now I'm doing a supinated incline high row. So the resistance is coming from up high and I'm rowing it down to my sternum area not necessarily touching, but getting full range. I like to do 10 on these. Okay, now here we go with a dumbbell curl with ISO. So you curl it up, lower halfway down, hold for about three count, and then let it all the way down. And you do that for X number of reps. So usually about 10 reps on here is good also. You can do more or less. All depends on what weight you're using and you know what you're doing before it. And of course, butt tight, gut tight, because you're standing on your own two feet.
We want to avoid wrist curling at the top, wrist flexion. And here we go with a dumbbell tricep extension with ISO. So you go down, come up a little bit, hold for three count, and then extend all the way. I like to hold for three count when I can see the top half of the dumbbell over my head in the mirror. If you don't have a mirror, just guesstimate. And 10 for these is good. You can go higher. Some people like to go 15. When you're doing that ISO, it takes it to a new level though. And here we go with a cable tape side bend. Just keeping your arm locked and forcing it down and forward a little bit with your obliques. So it's basically your crunch, a crunching motion. So you're using some of your rectus abdominis along with your obliques and transverse abdominis. And then, of course, you got to switch sides, do the same thing. And you want your glutes tight on this one. It's not a huge range of motion, but you probably want to exhale as you crunch down just to give yourself a full crunch. Because if you're inhaling, you won't be able to fold down as far. And lastly, we have an isometric back extension. You want to be making sure you put the force through the glutes. Your low back will get work no matter what. 